my last two spigot tutorial videos, we've been manually adding the spigot jar file to the project. But what happens when the Minecraft version gets updated? There's no easy way to manually update your spigot jar without breaking your entire plugin. Today I'm going to show you how to use a tool called Maven in order to manage your spigot dependency. So here I have the IntelliJ IDEA window open. So what we're going to do is just create a new project. And once this screen shows up, we're going to choose Maven. Just click next. And let's call it example Maven plugin, just like that. And you can change the group ID to whatever you want. I'm going to use karks.xyz because that's my domain. And the version can just be the version of your plugin. So just click finish here. So now it's uh, syncing our Maven, our Maven project for the first time. So here we have our project structure. But right now it's empty and it doesn't do anything. So we need to add the correct values to this pom.xml in order to have it register as a spigot plugin. So the first thing we're going to do is add a name attribute. This is just the name of your plugin. So it would be example maven plugin, just like that. And the description is just the description of your plugin. So an example plugin made with Maven, just like that. Now these two values will both be used in the plugin.yml file that we'll create later. So the next attributes we'll have to add First, start by making a properties section. And in that properties section, add main class, just like that. And call it what your package class is going to be called. Just like that. Now this will also be used in the plugin.yml file. The next thing we need to, we need to add is a project dot build dot source encoding and then set the value to utf-8 like that. And that's the end of our properties section. So now we need to add the spigot repository. So, to do that, just open a repository section and create a repository entry ID and call it spigot repo, just like that. And the URL, I'll leave it in the description, but you can just copy paste it in. So now we have to actually add the spigot dependency to our project. So to do that, open up a dependencies section and add a dependency. For the group ID, type org.spigotmc and you can use the version of your server. So my server is 1.16.1, .1, so I'm just going to choose that. So now we need to add a build directive. Basically, that just specifies how we're going to be building our package. So just add that build section like that and add a source directory. We'll have that be src slash main slash java. That's going to be where our java code is going to be stored. And you can have a default goal directive here, but you don't need to. I'm going to have mine clean package so that'll create the java jar file you don't have to have that but it would help if you do so now we're going to add a resources section and a 
resource. The directory will be src slash main slash resources and the filtering is true. So add includes include plugin.yml just like that. So now our pom.xml file is done. So if you see this up here, just click that. So now it's downloading the spigot jar file. Okay. So if we look down here in external libraries, we'll see the maven spigot mc spigot api that it downloaded. So now this spigot api is available to our project. So now we'll create a plugin.yml. So right click on resources and go to new and create a file plugin.yml just like usual. So now it's time to add the plugin properties. So for name, instead of typing out the name again, you can actually use the values from the palm.xml that we created. So this will actually import the name from our Maven plugin. So version will be the version we specified. Description is the description. And main is the main class we specify. So now it's time to create our actual Java class. So to do that, just right click on the Java folder, go to new and package, just call it xyz.carks. I called mine example maven, just like that. So that would be, so look, xyz.carx.examplemaven, and that's the package name I chose here. So now it's time to create our new class and just call it main. So now we can turn this class into an actual plugin. So we can have it extend Java plugin. And now we're going to override on enable so we'll just have it print out hello there right now and if you want you can also add a on disable but you don't have to so now we're going to actually add a build configuration so to do that just go up here and click add configuration click the plus sign and go down here to maven and you're going to in the command line you're going to type clean package so then just click apply and ok so now you can click this run button up here and it'll start building our jar file Okay, so the build was successful and our jar file is here in the target folder. So we can So we're just sending the file over to the server. So now if we see in our plugins directory, we'll see our Maven plugin is there. So now we can restart the server and I'm just going to open up the console. So the server has successfully started up and here we can see the example Maven plugin printed out our message. So that means that the plugin has been successfully copied over to the server. And when the Minecraft version updates, when a new version of Minecraft has been released, you can just update this version number and Maven will handle everything for you. So that's how to use Maven in your plugins and why it's better than just manually adding your spigot jar. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Like, subscribe, etc. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!